All right, hello guys. I welcome you to my first tutorial on this channel. Um, my name is Sulu Fox, and today I'm going to show you how you can automate any parameter of any VST plugin utilizing the capabilities and powers of LFO tool. So, um, in plugins like Serum, you have these nice LFO curves that you can apply to any parameter just by dragging it onto it. To create these nice sounds, but um, if you have something like the Legend, which is a great emulation of the legendary MOOC synthesizer, um, you don't have these LFO curves. So you would either have to automate it by hand um, or using the method I will show you today. Alright, so I've recorded a video and recognized that it might be a little bit difficult to follow my steps. So um, I've created this little graphic here um, where you can see uh, the routing um, of the different plugins. So um, you here have the LFO tool which has your uh, LFO curve that you want to use for automation. And um, this uses the output MIDI channel. It doesn't really matter which one, as long as you use the same uh, MIDI channel as input for your generator plugin. In my case, it's the legend. And um, you then also set up a MIDI out plugin, which is for triggering uh, the notes. So it, every time you press a note on the keyboard, it creates a MIDI out signal. Uh, you then have to um, set an output channel, which is port Y. It also doesn't matter uh, which number you choose for this, as long as it's the same as the input channel on your LFO tool. And once you've set this up, you then can um, go on and create a layer, which connects the MIDI out signal and the generator. So uh, in the following, I will show you uh, the examples um, as a video, how I set it up. You can play it and you see it's automating automatically. And you can also play the notes. Well, um, the first step is of course to load in your VST. In my case, it's the legend. And uh, you have to route it to a channel which we'll do right now, where you apply the LFO tool effect. Then you um, go into the settings menu of LFO tool and uh, choose an output port. Um, it doesn't matter which one actually, you just have to match it um, with the input port of your VST plugin of your sound generator. So here I'm uh, also going to put the same port as the output of LFO tool. So now uh, the legend um, gets triggered and is connected with the LFO tool. And um, now I'm going to uh, set an input port, for example 4, doesn't really matter, because we want it to be triggered when we um, you want this curve to be triggered when I uh, when you press um, a note on the keyboard. So I'm going to insert a MIDI out signal here. Uh, going to choose the same port that I've before specified uh, in LFO tool, input port 4. And I'm going to use a layer to connect these two. So when I press the layer both of them are triggered. Okay, so now that we have the routing set up, um, we now have to configure LFO tool. So we're turning off the filter, playing with the cutoff a little bit. Um, we can turn this to envelope. So um, it re-triggers every time I hit a note. And then we also have to set a channel in here. This is for controlling one of the parameters of your VST plugin. So um, in this case, 
the cutoff, which I want to automate, is on the channel 74. Well, this definitely is different on your plugin. Um, if you want to look it up, uh, I had to go into the uh, user manual of the Legend VST and there I found this MIDI implementation chart. And here you can see uh, which parameter is connected with which um, MIDI channel number. So the filter cutoff here is 74. So that's also what we uh, set in here. Yeah, and that's already it. Now you have a working setup with LFO tool automating the cutoff whenever you press a note and you can get really creative with this also like on the resonance or some other parameters. Okay, thanks for your attention. I hope uh, I helped you a little bit and yeah, we'll see us in the next video.